this reminds me of the tools that I use when I was in architecture school. My father was an architect and I entertained his hope for about a semester before we migrated, moved to New Zealand. I entered one of the best architecture school in the region of which my father was head of school at the time and we have a lot of these this is 1988 so everything was done by hand um, nowadays you don't see those gadgets the large table the mechanical arms rule a lot of these gadgets which help us create every shape to perfection by hand this is made of brass. Um, I'm used to antique brass and so this brass is relatively new. It feels relatively um, thinner than the more um, than older brass and the edges are still quite sharp. Hopefully with use it will um, soften a little bit around the edges. I don't have any particular plan in mind. I was just quite fascinated by what is obviously inspired by a much older tool. I had bought um, a three pen case made of the crazy horse leather and this is a bit more mainstream looking leather I suppose just for variety. I may have mentioned that I have great anxiety over inking too many pens. The most pens I've inked I think was about five and as a result I forgot one of them um, and the ink became quite dry on the inside and it clogged up the nib and that really stresses me out. So now I've told myself that I will not ink more than two um, and um, so this is one here. The other one is three I have a six pen pouch um, as well as some others which I will make a video about um, different types of pouches and carriers to me serve different functions and the do's and don'ts for me personally in terms of how I like to store carry and carry my pens and so this these are not touching so that's great and between the pen compartment and the outside world there's another uh, protection there so for me that's a must as well and it seems that with every pen purchase you are given this so I probably would write to them next time and say if it's if it's not too much bother to exclude this wooden um, adjuster extender here perhaps save some trees and leave the adjuster out. I know it's included in the price. It doesn't really matter. I'm quite happy not to have another because so far I have two and I think that's the right thing to do um, unless that disrupt their production flow and uh, create more work for them then um, I'm not sure but I'll, I'll try anyway. So this is a more conventional just straightforward brown leather. Um, I can't see a natural leather for this pen for this two pen flat case or uh, flat pouch um, two pen flat pouch on gallon leather. I may have missed it, but I probably would have preferred a natural undyed leather. Um, but having said that, I have a lot of natural nude undyed leather from Superior Labor, which I'm very happy about, and I suppose I could do with a bit more variety. So. This is a Tomoe River paper notebook that is Gallon Leather's own. This is my first from them. Um, I've decided that um, surely we don't have to rely on Hobonichi for our Tomoe River paper. So I'm going to um, unwrap this perhaps in a separate video and focus on maybe comparing notebooks and sizes etc. So there it is. 52 gram per meter square white paper Tomoe River and it's blank exactly how I want it. 
um, what my frustration with Hobonichi is that none of them are blank and for the blank notebook it's very thin um, and so this and the MD Midori's MD plain notebook might be the answer for me and this is I'm not quite sure what this is um, This is a piece of leather. Oh, I think I know what this is. Uh, I think this is ink blot paper. So when you write with your fountain paper, as some of us do, some of the nibs are thicker and some of the inks are wetter and it takes a lot longer to dry. So a lot in a lot of my notebooks and my journals, my planners, when I put, when I make entries using fountain pens, um, I have to leave it open for a while or if I don't have the patience I simply close and there's a lot of ink transfer from one page to the other so there's a lot of blotches. At this point in time I don't really care so much with the blotches. Sometimes when you have a um, mementos stuck on one page and the ink uh, transferred and blotched the mementos that's the only time I'm bothered with ink transfers. So this is to be used in between to blotch the ink and I really really love that thank you so much that's such a great idea it feels like it feels like um, leather but I don't think it is sorry hold on a second sorry about that and so we come to our last here now I have been a bit weary of this is natural nude I'm on a roll with nude undyed leather these days I was a bit concerned about the fact that the lining for Gallon Leather's um, A5 zipper organizer, which is what this is, is not made of leather, it's made of felt. It means that as the leather change its um, coloring and patina, the, the felt lining will remain whatever color it is. And I was a bit concerned about how that might aesthetically um, look like. So with superior labor a lot of their zippers are brass and this i think is um zinc or aluminium um hold on sorry i keep forgetting where the lens where the lens is sitting on this device so you could see there um it feels quite light um i can almost i can almost I can almost see it just I mean I can I can sense that just by looking at it um, it's smooth it's not toothy so the the zipper is quite solid even though it is made of what looked to me like aluminium but I could be wrong is it zinc or aluminium it's definitely not steel um, it, it's too light light uh, uh, weight for it right so this is what I was concerned about this um, because that's felt. And, but it is brown, so that's a relief because as the leather patina, it will turn into honey brown, um, potentially this color here. Mm. Okay, so let's just... Um, my coffee back um, so let me just put it here maybe so that that looks okay and um, that looks great excellent and um, so there's a lot of there's a lot of old if you notice a lot of old leather goods with cream undyed cotton zipper and very well patina leather and they actually look very good together uh, the undyed natural cotton contrasts the naturally aging leather very well most of the times so I am very very pleased about that for the moment and uh, so this is the one two three four you could put that in here carry your pen or not and then change the function of this particular slot this one here, excellent, one, two, three, four, 
There's another compartment there. Uh, nope, there's not a compartment. This is to carry two, whether it's pen or brushes or whatever. The top sits here and the bottom will go through there. There's a compartment here, a com two-way compartment this way and that way. Um, and this is a keychain for whatever you want to hang in there. It could be keys, it could be something else. The metal isn't as solid, so this, but this is where the price point come into the picture. So this metal feels very, very light. So it's not solid metal. It's I don't know what this is. I'm not quite sure how how um, how much is this plastic. I don't know. But again, I would like to bring your attention to the price point. Um, so that. I am used to perhaps a more sturdier, more solid um, hardware on my leather goods. Again, I think the Superior Labor and a few other um, leather products I've consumed throughout the course of my life have um, have spoiled me really. So if any of you have had this for a lot longer, let me know how your hardware is faring out. And here, again, uh, I personally would prefer the lining to be leather. And um, there's a bit of um, bubble here, I think. Now, I dislike glue. So my next question is that this is stitched on the, on the side here. But I, um, I suspect there's glue is involved because of this. Um, Again, at the time like this is where I put things in perspective with regards to the price point. And shipping is so cheap and so fast with FedEx, it's unbelievable. Um, I'm so used to paying eye-watering shipping from the Northern Hemisphere and from a variety of different parts of the world that this is such